Hey there, CPO here, and I'm going to show you how I made my wiring harness for the tricopter. And this is the harness that will connect the battery to the three ESCs and then my external BEC that I'm using to power the rear servo and possibly my FPV gear whenever I get to that point. So I'm using some silicone 16-gauge uh, wire that I got from Hobby King. Uh, I have links in both black and red. So I'm going to need bullet connectors, the female ones, to connect to the ESCs. And then I'm using XT60s, so I need the male side of those. In my build, the length is pretty arbitrary. I'm just making sure I have enough length to be able to connect everything. I'm looking like about 170, maybe 180 millimeters uh, for all the wires. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of my wires to that length. And since this is a tricopter build, I'll need three black wires and three red wires. So for connecting my external BEC, uh, I need a sort of a pigtail to tie off the power. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use uh, JST connectors. I have a male and a female set here that I'm going to use, and I want to connect the female side to the battery. So next I need to prep each of the ends of the wires by stripping off enough to be able to uh, connect them all together. So I'm stripping off, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 millimeters. Uh, off of each of the wire. Just enough to be able to, to kind of twist together. I like the way David Vendestahl uses a strand of wire to secure the harness uh, junction and I'm going to do that same thing. However, I didn't have any single strand wire but I did have this wire that I pulled out of my ESCs, the power wire that I'm not going to use. So I'm just stripping that down and I'm going to use some strands of that for the junction. So I just take a uh, few of these strands, just enough to kind of give it some strength and wrap it around where I'm going to join these wires. And you can see here when I put it into the alligator clip, I'm basically just holding those strands back and then I'll cut off the loose uh, excess. I didn't tie them, I just basically wrapped them in and uh, held them tight and then the solder is going to join everything together. I accidentally forgot to include my JST pigtail, so I had to go back in and re-solder that in. So now I'm going to solder the XT60 on. And basically, as you can see here, uh, I'm soldering on the male side. And you can see I do leave the smaller female side uh, a blank one plugged into the back so that the pins stay aligned. Otherwise, when you heat these connectors up, sometimes the pins will get deformed in the plastic. Another thing I'll mention is that I prefer to use a vise for holding the XT60s. They're square and it makes for a perfect uh, clamping in the vise. That way I'm not pushing them around with the alligator clips. Although as you can see here, I will use an alligator clip to kind of hold whatever wires I'm working with. Now I need to put some shrink tubing on and uh, I'll admit this is easier to do <laughs> before you actually solder the connector on, but uh, it can be done at least for now, after the fact. So once I get the shrink tube in place, I'll hit it with a heat gun. And the negative side is done. Now we repeat the entire process with the positive side. Oh, and this time you really want to have your shrink tubing on before you uh, put the connector on. Here's what it looks like complete. Just for fun, I went ahead and added some clear shrink tubing, the same stuff I used on the ESCs earlier. I don't know why, just because. Now it's time to put the bullet connectors on the six wires. So I strip a little bit off the ends of the wires and instead of twisting them like I normally do, I kind of flatten them out for this process and I'll show you why here in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and tend these up just a little bit flat like that. And here's why, the bullet connectors have kind of a flat shelf um, so it mates better to a flat wire. And then again, I like to use the vise for this my vise has a little square cutout that works perfectly for holding these little bullets. I uh, heat it up, put a little pad of solder on top, and then just bring the uh, wire to it and solder it down. Once you get all six of them done, then you can put the shrink tube on. And here's a look at the completed harness. Uh, three positive, three negative and my little JST pigtail and an XT60 which I obviously don't need this female side anymore. So there we go, there's the completed harness for my tricopter. 
So the last thing I want to do really quick is add the other side of that JST to my external BEC. And I'm just going to do this old school by stripping the ends of the wires, twisting them together, soldering them, and then shrink tubing them. So that's it. Uh, that's my tricopter wiring harness and the external BEC connection. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.